Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to install Lightroom presets in the new Lightroom Classic CC in 2019. It's quick and it's simple, but I do need to show you a couple steps because there's a few places you can get hung up. So let's do it. First off, you're going to want to download your presets. Obviously, you need presets to install presets. So we're going to grab the Genesis pack today and show you how to install that. I've got my develop, my adjustment brush, and my export presets in this collection. So I'm going to open those up. You don't want to install the zip folder. You need to make sure you uncompress those first. Now, if you're using a new version of Lightroom, you can also install XMP presets. It just depends which presets you've purchased, whether they come in .lr template format or whether they come in .xmp format, you're going to put them in two different places. And so that's why I have to clarify and just show you the difference is just depending on which version of Lightroom you're using, a different folder you have to drag them into or they won't show up. So once you've got those opened up like this, all you're going to do is go over to where it says Lightroom and Preferences. If you're on a Windows, it might be slightly different here, but you just want to find wherever it says Preferences. You might hit the Windows button and then find it. After that, it should look exactly the same whether you're on Windows or Mac. The first thing we're going to do is hit Show Lightroom Develop Presets. That's going to pull up this folder. But you can see that it's not actually in Lightroom. It's in Adobe Camera Raw under Settings. Very random, very confusing. That's why it gets you hung up most of the time. Now what I'm going to do is grab my XMP version of these presets. And if you have XMP presets that you've purchased, this is where you're going to drag that folder right into here. You can see that all of these presets under this folder are in the XMP format. Okay, now if your presets are not in this format and they're in .lr template, so you can see the file extension here, .lr template at the end, then we have to put them in a different spot. I know, very genius of you Adobe, you are so clever. So what we're going to do here is go back to my presets that I just closed. Okay, I've got, got those there, go back to preferences, and here we're going to click show other Lightroom presets. This is where we're going to put our .lr template presets as well as our export presets and our local adjustment presets which is those adjustment brush presets. So first off let's do the develop presets. Do that by just dragging the folder right in there. It's as simple as that. If your presets end in .lr template just drag it right in there. Perfect. One step done. Now we're going to go to the export presets. We're going to grab our export presets folder and drag it in there. You got it. Now lastly, we'll go to where it says local adjustments and we'll drag the whole folder here with the adjustment brush presets right over into here. If you'd like, you can change the name of this folder and that way it will slightly change the appearance inside Lightroom, but that's how you install them. It's as easy as that. So we just exit out here. We're going to close Lightroom and restart it. Now again, if you're installing the XMP presets, you would just do the exact same thing, only place them in the other folder I showed you earlier. So now you may find that your presets show up right away once you reopen Lightroom, but in my case, they have not. Why is that? Well, because Lightroom has now updated in 2019 to use XMP presets. They're going to take those .lr template presets and convert them to XMP. After that, they will show up here. So we've got our develop presets, Genesis collection right there. Okay, now as we go to our adjustment brushes, you can see that we've also got all of the presets that come inside of here. Now, because I have installed the same pack twice, you can see there are duplicates of each of them. But if I were to hop over here and just organize by five stars, I can give you a quick little preview here. This photo is a little bright, but all you have to do is find the look you like, adjust the exposure, and it's as simple as that. Everything about this pack was designed to be simple and easy to use to get you that one-click edit. After that, you can dial things in with our adjustment brush presets, which come with the pack, and then export things out with our export presets, which will save you a ton of time optimizing for Facebook, for web, for print, everything like that. So if you want to try this, make sure to check out the free sample. I'll put a link below. And please, if this video was helpful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. It'll really help get the word out there and it will just do me a favor. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one and peace.